Okay, in my travels we've been hearing a lot about Trialbe, so we thought we'd just stop in uh, and uh, look at the story of Bob, the railway dog. And apparently as a puppy, Bob was destined to be used for exterminating rabbits to the north of Tarawi in 1885. But he was exchanged for another dog by a railway guard. He was allowed to travel on trains throughout South Australia, sometimes even venturing interstate, and he became known as Bob the Railway Dog. Occasionally, Bob rode with the engine man, generally on the coal in the tender. He loved the engine whistle and the rattle of the wheels. He died at the age of about 17 in the 1890s. So there we go. It's Bob the Railway Dog. And this is Tarawi Station, which we're at at the moment. Uh, Tarawi, current population of 150. Obviously significantly more uh, in the days when it was the place where they changed lines uh, because of the different gauges being used in South Australia versus those being used in New South Wales. And uh, yeah, so we're just going to go and see what's left of Tarawi Station. Obviously completely disused now. Uh, there's no line uh, that goes through here. Anymore, at least. But certainly plenty of signs of things. And, uh, and I mean literally signs of things. <laughs> As you'll see here, there are plenty of signs. Okay, so this is the back of the railway line, the railway station at Wamut Shooms. Indeed, here we are. It's railway, railway station. The remaining portion of this station is South Australian Heritage listed and owned in 2016 by the Department of Planning, Transport and Infrastructure. Okay, so obviously they're doing restorations. In fact, SJM Builders is here and I assume they're not here for pleasure. I assume they're here to help restore the uh, various uh, buildings that are here. Okay, so here's actually here's the uh, aerial view. This is interesting. We're just here, and so there's the buildings we're looking at. But there's huge numbers of buildings in different locations all around the township. And of course the goods yards are very extensive here as well because that's where they transferred everything across. So yeah, quite extensive here. This is an aerial view of the Trary Large in 19, Yards in 1966, just before steam was finally um, obliterated. <laughs> okay, so in 1880 the broad gauge railway from Adelaide reached Tarawi. Economic constraints meant the narrow gauge line were constructed north to Broken Hill in the data and eventually Northern Territory. Everything going to and coming from the north and the west had to pass through Tarawi from 1881 until 1937 when Port Augusta was linked by standard gauge to Port Perry. So Tarawi became a bustling break of gauge town where trans shipping was a predominant activity for almost a century. Everything from the smallest consigned parcel to bulk freight, wheat, minerals and livestock was transshipped or had to change trains. The complexity of the transshipping livestock from one train to another meant the need for vast yarding facilities, uh, as is indicated as I showed you a moment ago on the map here. A large mechanical tipler was built to transfer Lee Creek coal into broad gauge wagons. A large contingent of contracted men was conducted to transfer to do these transfer operations. Um, short sum storage facilities were also available. Uh, amenities for employee, housing for employees, amenities and catering facilities for passengers also made Tarawi the longest standing and at times busiest trans shipping operation in the state. Uh, so the question that they ask here is where has it all gone? Uh, obviously um, when I was there in 1953 the sign says we had 26 sets of crews, 52 blokes but when it finished in 1969 they were down to a bare eight or nine crews. That was Des Graham, retired A&R driver. And you can see here the railway network it was quite extensive. Um, majority of those, um, both broad and standard gauge and narrow gauge, uh, were all 
uh, uh, most of those are gone now. Um, so here we are. 1969, the line was broadened to Peterborough. 1970, the last trans-shipping operation was conducted in January. 1986, the last regular passenger service left Tarawi on 13th of December. 1987, the last passenger train through Tarawi was a special steam excursion on the 6th of June. 1998, the last broad gauge goods train departed from Tarawi in February. And in 1989, the line from Hallett to Peterborough was removed. Um, so, yeah, Hallett being down here. And, of course, Peterborough, where we stayed last night, up here. And we're going to head to Port Augusta and also Corn and do that Pitchy Ritchie Railway. Uh, up in that area on the narrow gauge that's still there. So virtually overnight Tarawi tumbled into oblivion. Population once a thriving 2000 fell to 150 by the late 1970s. A veil of community sadness fell over the town. Our community looks to you to appreciate what was once here and give us renewed pride in our past and significance in our nation's history. So yeah, uh, for those who are local obviously very sad uh, days um, around about 50 years ago when the, uh, everything closed down pretty much permanently. So let's see from the front what we can see. Um, as I said, closed down over 50 years ago now, but still a significant part of our history. So coming to the front here, we can see that there is definitely some work going on in terms of rebuilding. There we are, there's some workers working there on the line. Now, it looks like technically the line is still there, the actual railway line. It hasn't been dug up, but certainly maybe on the point of operation. So, there's the Tarawi line. Platforms and interchanges and so on. And the tree right in the middle of it. Let me just uh, see if, what else there is to have a look at. Just cross the lines here. So that's uh, coming up from Adelaide. And that's heading up to where the uh, goods lines used to be. There's plenty of plaques and so on, uh, which you can come and investigate if you ever find your way down here. Probably worth a stop. Uh, I'm not going to bother climbing up the stairs because the workers seem like they're using them at the moment. Uh, but there's the uh, various sheds that are still here. It doesn't actually look like the railway line itself, the railway station itself, just uh, a few sheds and things, but maybe it is. Um, yeah. So just walking around the corner here. So there are the workers playing their music. Uh, I'll have to have they get copyrighted for incidental music playing there in the background. Okay, definitely fixing things there. So there we have it. Ferrari railway station. That would, this would be the railway station because there's a big sign there, so. Just, uh, yeah. Interesting little satellite. Okay. We're going to investigate a few other little stops on the way. But that, my friends, is Terrari. I'm not sure if it's a roundabout or a... I'm not sure what that is. Obviously, a war memorial. You want to go down the main street? No, no, it's okay. So just keep going straight along here, I think. It's 
not like we're going to get lost in Tarawi. <laughs> a couple of ruins there. And now it's time to head back to Peterborough and stop in our hotel. On our last day in Peterborough, we're going to check out the main street and look at all the freebies you can do while you're there. It's well worth the visit.